computer to classified data transfer. So this means if you go on the internet, say, and download programs, e-activities, and so on from um, charliewatson.com slash classpad, edu.cassio.com, and so on, any internet site, and you want to get them into your classpad, an e-activity, a program, how do you do it? Well, let's have a look. So first up, we'll, um, we'll just tidy away our desktop. Uh, there we go, and we'll get rid of classpad for a minute. So here's my browser. I've headed off to charliewatson.com slash classpad. Here we are on the classpad page. So say we head to the e-activities page, and here we go. We can see there's some here. Two-point line, what does it do? Finds the equation of a straight line from two points. Well, let's download it. So I'll tap on the download. Now, this version, uh, it, most e-activities work equally well on the old uh, silver classpad or the new black one. So there is only one version of this. So um, there it is. You can see it's been downloaded into my downloads file. Um, what about on the program? So I'll tap onto the program link and here's a program to deal with arithmetic progressions and here's one to deal with geometric progressions. Let's download. Now this one, most programs are very specific because of the different screen sizes. So I'll download the GP2 version here. And there it is, it's downloaded. So let's head back up the top. What else? There's some mini programs, functions you might like to look at. Add-ins, mainly for the older calculator. Ending screens, let's have a look at them. These are the things that flash up um, on your screen when you turn it off. Or also, um, we can have things like these spirals. You might want to try and model a function. So um, to download these, we simply I'm just going to click on this uh, black and white spiral, and you can see there it is. It's a C2P file, and that one's been downloaded as well. So um, now, if you're in WA or uh, Australia, you might find some helpful bits under Waste Help. And here, these are specifically for the West Australian kind of maths courses. So uh, math method units one and two, here's an e-activity with a few things in it. So let's grab a copy of that one as well. So everything's downloaded. We've got what we want. Let's go and find them. So I'm going to um, open up my folder here and hide the window away now. Um, what do you want to do is organize everything, uh, so two-point line, GP2, methods, units, and spiral. Um, I'm going to grab a copy of the mat onto my desktop. There they go, and we'll sh shut the downloads file. Now, uh, if you've downloaded an add-in such as Physium, which has got file extension C2A, they kind of need to go in the root directory of Classpad. Everything else such as pictures, e-activities, and so on. What I'm going to do is organize them into a little folder here called My Files. So I'll take these fellas and drop them in here. Ah, there's already a couple of things in there. There's a CSV file that I downloaded from the internet and also a VCP. A VCP is a virtual class pad. So this is a kind of container for everything in a class pad. So we want to take these six things and put them onto our class pad. So how do we do it? Well, first thing is to get the cable that was in the box uh, and plug it into your class pad. So here we go. Um, I'll just close this window before I do. Uh, and so I, I grab my class pad, plug it in. And um, the first thing on my screen of my class pad, uh, it's asking me to select connection mode. And now I'm gonna choose the USB, the very top option, USB flash. And uh, I've done that. And uh, what will happen now is on my computer, if I open up um, my computer, then uh, it's showing up as a removable disk. So I'm gonna double click on that one. And here it is, it's basically like a USB, behaves like a USB drive. So I'm looking at the USB storage part of my handheld class pad. And the hardest bit now is to take what I want off my desktop and simply drag it onto my class pad USB drive. It copies everything over and that's done. So we've now got a copy of everything on our class pad. So I'll close that window. And now let's grab our class pad back. So here we go. Um, we've got our class pad. To actually be able to use these things, what you'll find is if you move over, here's Physium showing up already. If you didn't have it before, class pad automatically will pick up that you've um, loaded an add-in into the storage part of uh, the root directory of class pad, and it automatically installs. You may need to turn your class pad on and off to actually get it to show up. 
For everything else, we tap into system here and view storage and import. This is view the USB storage part of ClassPad. So I'll tap select and uh, here's the folder, my files. You can see there's the copy of Physium that I just added in and here's the folder called my file. So I'm going to tap onto that twice and you can see here are the six things, although they're using the shortened um, 8.3 kind of file format. So here was the e-activity. Uh, here was the spiral black and white picture. Here's the GP program. So anything uh, with the extension XCP, we simply tick the boxes on those, tick XCP, and we can now, these all need to be imported into the working part of ClassPad. Everything else, such as this VCP, Perth, and Spiral, doesn't. It can stay in the USB drive. So we've got everything selected. We tap Import, and ClassPad says, where do you want to put the e-activities that you've got selected there? So I'll choose the main folder and say OK. And then ClassPad says, where do you want to put everything else that's not an e-activity? Um, variables are things like programs and so on. And uh, I'll just go with the main folder there and tap OK. And it's found that I've already got a copy of the GP2 program, so I'll skip that one. And it says everything's OK. And that's it. We've basically taken some uh, downloads from the internet, transferred them into our class pad. Let's just check. So back to the main menu. Um, Physium's there, it's working nicely. We can tap on anything and find out, uh, you know, all the sort of stuff you chemists might need to know about. That's not my department. Back to the menu, let's tap onto program. Now I had a few here already, but there's my GP ready to go. Back to the main menu, over to e-activity. And I'm gonna go file open, look into the main folder, and here it is, here's that two point line. I tap open, uh, clear all, yep I'm sure, and here it is just like on the website. So uh, the only other thing we haven't had a look at is pictures, so picture plot. Uh, let's go file, open, and uh, now I need to navigate up out of the picture folder into the my files folder and there's the spiral. Tap open and say yep I'm sure and there it is. And now we can try modeling uh, uh, some kind of spiral to fit that curve. Uh, the very last thing I'll show you is the VCP file. Now what we can do is from the menu here, you can import someone else's whole class pad. So um, if I tap open and go into my files, it'll pick up that there's Charlie's VCP. Now this is another version of uh, my handheld class pad that I've saved which has got everything set up the way I like it. So I can tap open and options come up. Do I want to erase the existing class pad or do I just want to overwrite? I'm going to choose erase the class pad I've got and copy the new one. Say OK. And one moment, please complete. And now um, if I go back to the e activities and have a look, file open, you'll see I've got a different, totally different selection in main. Um, there's nothing in that one, uh, and so on. So it's basically a VCP is a virtual class pad, as I say. Uh, you can take a copy of someone else's class pad. So hope that's helped.